Hello everyone. So thank you for joining me this afternoon as I will be having an amazing conversation with uh, Dr. Nigma Talib. We will talk about reversing the signs of aging. So I am very excited. Let's see if um, Nigma, I'm waiting for her to tune in so I can invite her to join me so we can start having this wonderful talk on all the good stuff that we all want to know about, all her tricks and tips and the foundation on uh, how to achieve, you know, the best glowy skin possible. So let's see, she's joining me. People are joining in. Thank you, tuning in. That's amazing. Let's see where Nigma is. Um, Still waiting for her. <laughs> Thank you guys. Waiting for Nyingma. We will talk about, you know, everything beauty from the inside out and how to um, officially starting today learn how to re reverse the signs of aging and um, learn what we really should do and not do. So is she joining us? Let's see, where are you, Nigma? Not seeing her. Oh, she has joined us. Here we go. I will invite her. Go live. Yes, please. That's what Hopefully my screen will be right this time. Connecting. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Now, let me see. I have to organize my screen again because I'm a bit I... too. Okay, let me back up a little bit. I'm too close to my. Is this it's good? a learning experience, these Instagram lives. It never <laughs> stops. It never stops because every time I do a live, there's something different. The angle is different. There's, it never stops. Let me move this a little bit. Actually. Just keeping so you me... on your toes, that's it's, all. It never stops. How are you? Do you know what? I'm great. Uh, it's a sunny day here in Los Angeles. Where are you? So I'm in Montreal. Oh, okay. I'm in my home in Montreal. So I love I... Montreal. I think your clinic is in your house as well, right? In Los Angeles? It is. it is. Fantastic. It's been, the weather has been amazing here. So I'm, I'm so grateful because it's been hot and sunny. So finally, because our spring has been like uh, very slow to, to kick in. So I'm, it's amazing. It's been great. So I feel like we first met, I, I yeah. think I want to say two years ago. And then yes, so two years ago in Vancouver. Yes. And then we saw each other again uh, last year in Los Angeles. At That's the, uh, true. In the yes. uh, summit. And uh, so I want to, first of all, I want to tell people who are joining in. Um, so this afternoon, um, as part of the Global Globe Talk series, I will be having an amazing conversation with Dr. Nima Talib on uh, reversing the signs of aging. So it's very exciting because we all want to know what to do, what not to do. Starting today, we want to know all your secrets. So okay. guys, I encourage you to have it. I have my notebook. I have my pen. Like we should all be taking notes. <laughs> this is going to be fascinating. I'm excited. So, <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, so Nima, you're a naturopathic doctor, you're yes. also an esthetician, and you're a leading authority in uh, naturop naturopathic uh, health. You've had, uh, you've opened clinics in the past in Vancouver. You're, you're yes. originally from Vancouver, correct? Yes, I'm Canadian. Canadian. Sorry, yes. my dog has joined our, our, our live. <laughs> oh, so cute. Love it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you've had clinics in Vancouver, in New York, in London, and now you have your clinic in Los Angeles. Yes. Um, you've, you've had many publications and received many recognitions and awards, and you are the author of the best-selling book, Reverse the Signs of Aging, which is like my beauty Bible, <laughs> which, we will, which we will talk about. Now, you know, this book is 
I, I keep reading it because there's always something new that catches my eye. I'm, I'm the geek that reads the, the beauty book. with are doing the highlight. I love it. Highlighter and I take notes and yeah, this is a fun. But you know what? Book. That's what you're supposed to do with this book is I'll that's why I tell so people to the buy right the book. You are, you are. And so I tell all my, you know, I, everybody actually tells me and says that they put notes in there and it's a book you can refer to over and over again. So it's, you know, thank you for calling it a beauty Bible. I hear that. Yeah, and I, I love it. I'm yeah, happy. it is my beauty Bible. Um, so, yeah. So your goal as a naturopathic doctor is to, um, to educate people really on the importance of always finding the root cause, right. which... I feel the same way as a health coach. I always want to address, you know, and find the root cause in any illness or discomfort or, or mm -hmm. in, and that's, it's the same for our skin, you know, sure. because whatever happens in your body will reflect on the outside, yes. right? On your yes. skin, which is the biggest organ of, of our body. So um, how can you explain to us how you make the connection between that finding the root cause and the link with reversing the signs of aging. So, you know, we look at our, you know, everything we eat, right? It, you know, it, everybody sort of focuses on taking supplements, for example, right? right. Uh, or sorry, not even supplements, drugs, sorry. And that drugs have an immediate impact. Same thing is when you eat, your food is a drug or your food is a medicine. So when you eat something, that is a first exposure from the external environment going inside of your body, right? Because how else do you communicate with the outside world other than, you know, through the exposure of breathing and eating and drinking? So you have this exposure in your gut and your gut lining is like very, very small, thin paper, uh, one cell, which means that things can go into it to absorb and things can potentially come out yeah. into the prefer peripheral bloodstream. Now, the problem with that is it's like a, it's, it's a bit of a paradox because on the one hand, we want to have this thin paper gut lining because we want absorption of nutrients, but we also have to be careful because that can also mean that it's gonna be absorption of the stuff that we ate that was not good for us. So it could be pesticides, it could be exactly. preservatives, plastics and drinking water, um, it could be anything, it could be sugar, gluten, wheat, uh, you know, um, dairy, any alcohol we drink. So that is where we can get leaky gut or gut permeability. And that can create um, uh, inflammation and also can cause changes in the microbiome, which causes changes on your skin microbiome. And depending on your your you know, how healthy your gut lining is, you can yes. also lose your nutrients. You can lose your vitamins. So, so you might be thinking that you're actually eating healthy, right. but you're actually losing because of everything else that's happening in your life. For example, like your pollution sure. and chemicals and all that. Yes. You're actually exactly. not retaining the antioxidants, the minerals, the vitamins, like the good stuff. So that's why the, the balance is so important. Right? So important. I mean, as it is, we have such poor quality soil, you know, um, of nutrients. I mean, the World Agricultural Association has reported we have extremely low le levels of selenium. And so we see a lot of women have deficiency in different iodine, which is the selenium, all these yeah. things that are deficiency states It through. affects the thyroid gland as well, right? Exactly. And then that affects your skin and that affects your aging. So it's a domino effect. It's, 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 not a direct cause and effect, but it is very, very uh, domino affected. I mean, a healthy, I always address with my clients the importance of having a healthy gut. For me, beauty starts from within as for you. Um, mm -hmm. and, and the foundation is your gut. Sure. It starts, it starts with the gut. So, um, so the link between having a healthy gut and a beautiful face is directly related. It's directly related. And, no. and I mean, it's, it's, it's correlated, you know, and, and I see it in patients. I actually, actually call them out on it when I see them. 
Oh, um, I can how, tell. So how, the... how do you do that? How can you say? Uh, is it that your technique about the four faces that you've developed? I call that a skin mapping. Yes. You know, but but so so I this was my one of my questions later on. But but tell us about it now because it's so it's fascinating. Depending yes. on what you eat, how it's going to reflect on your skin, right? A hundred percent. And I I lived in in the UK in London for eleven years, and so. In my practice, I would start, you know, calling my patients names, so to speak. <laughs> and I would say to them, you have dairy face today, or you have sugar face, or you have gluten face. And they'd say, how did you know Tom's Enigma? <laughs> and um, so they, you know, I would call them out on it. And then I started creating these faces because I kept seeing it clinically over and over again and correlating it with diet. So I, and I also used traditional Chinese medicine face mapping alongside with that that made it even more um, interesting. So the combination of the two was, was interesting and the, so the, created the four faces. So dairy face, sugar face, wine face, and gluten face. So what, what, what are they? Give us examples of, of you know, a dairy face or a gluten face. Or, okay. and, and, and would that be specifically for people who are intolerant or in general? If you eat dairy, you you could be more prone yes. to having such so dairy such face. Blemishes. Yeah, yes. Okay. And this is why it's so interesting because it is an intolerance. Um, it can be an intolerance, or it can just be your body is just not breaking it down because of the enzyme issue. Um, it could be a lactose intolerance. It could be a food intolerance. In addition, it could be a casein intolerance. Um, either way, you see it on the face. And in that respect, you don't need to test anymore. You know that yeah. you've got the dairy face when you have the puffiness under the eyes. Okay. And mainly you can see like this part gets quite puffy. Like you get a little lump there. Like and the top dark lid? Yeah, the top lid gets like okay. this, this little uh, bump. And then you get the darkness under the eyes. You get spots on the skin. Um, so those are the main features of dairy skin. So like, think of like the darkness under the eyes, the eye bags, um, and the eyelid uh, puffiness. It's very indicative of dairy face and acne along with that. So then and we- what would be the difference with uh, gluten face, for example? Yeah, so gluten face is more like puffiness. So you wake up the next morning and your face is puffy and you're thinking, why am I so puffy? I look like I look like I'm swollen for some reason. Right. That's the gluten causing inflammation in the gut and causing leaky gut, which is then creating a leakage of inflammatory mediators causing inflammation. That can happen anywhere from four minutes to four days. So it's not necessarily immediate. So, you know, we live in an immediate gratification society where it's like, oh, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to feel terrible. So I know not to do it. It's not that way. So it could be four minutes to four days. A lot of people feel it right away. Um, or my, my patient would say to me, oh, I ate that four days ago and you're seeing it now. And I'm like, yep, because I, I can see what you mean. So puffiness, also pigmentation around this area. Um, you can get acne as well with it. Um, so that is basically gluten based. Think about how, you know, you look after you have pizza the next day because mm -hmm. then you've got dairy and gluten all in one. And, and I know that for, for um, blemishes and pimples, dairy yeah. is not it's huge at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. And mm. I kind of don't want to know, but I will ask because I'm sure lots of people are curious. What about yeah. the wine face? So unfortunate, the wine face. I mean, <laughs> Do I, have a wine? I hope I don't have a wine face. <laughs> you don't. You have a beautiful face. Uh, <laughs> wine, wine face is very similar to sugar face. Right. Uh, well, wine is sugar when you think about right, it. Right, right. So I mean, the excuse the, is that there's antioxidants in the wine, but really, I know. Not really enough yes. to do anything. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, it's a nice social thing. And I think if you have a small amount or if you have skin issues and you cut it out for four weeks, you know, you will see a difference. So then yeah. you can go back. We'll talk about the 80-20 rule after. Right. So right. then we have um, wine face that causes like nasolabial folds, uh, redness of the skin, um, also, you know, very like pasty looking skin. Um, so very similar to sugar in the sense that sugar causes sagging of the skin. Think sugar causes skin sagging. And same with wine because wine is causing these 
nasolabial folds to deepen and sag. Um, and the reason why that happens is because sugar actually causes inflammation in the body and it causes um, your collagen um, yeah. to, to, to not work optimally and to actually, it causes your skin to sag. And it also sticks, sugar sticks to your white blood cells as well, your microtubules, you know, so it's very sticky in the blood and it causes all kinds of problems with the way your cells and, you know, your white blood cells, your blood, red blood cells react in the body. They stick together. And we don't want that because that can cause malformation, that can cause dysfunction, it can cause blockage. And so you see sugar, people with sugar have a lot of microvasculature issues, um, a lot of redness in areas that they shouldn't be, patchiness, um, like pimples. little veins or rosacea or yes, right. yes, that's sugar in wine. Very, very. Those and two. what about what about the sugar in fruits? Because when I, when I, you know, when I do plans for my clients, of course I tell them to avoid sugar. Uh, you yes. Know, and 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 I, you know, if they have to for a recipe or whatnot, you know, I I'm going to tell them to go with natural sugars like maple syrup or honey or. Um, but what about fruits? I like like I like having my fruits, my berries, you know. Sure, morning, those are I, great. I, yeah. Okay. So those are great, I, and 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 don't juice any fruit because when you start juicing fruit is when you start um, creating high sugar uh, from the fruit. So eating the fruit with the peel is the fiber. It's going to provide a release of sugar into the system slowly. It's when you immediately have that surge of sugar, like orange juice, for example. It's right. so full of even sugar. If it's, even if it's freshly squeezed, like when you when you juice your fruits and your vet, yeah, really? Wow, that's very interesting. So because of the skin, I'm always, for me, the skin, I have my, you know, my liquids to make sure there's no pest, to wash them properly, to make sure there's no pesticide. Yeah. And, you know, so 100%. sometimes I have it, a tendency to, to remove the skin, you know, so, but right. what you're saying, is that it's better to keep the skin. You on. need the skin, yeah, because the skin provides the fiber. Exactly. It, well, right. it, uh, it helps you release the sugar from the fruit into the body Slow. at a slower pace so you don't get a surge of, of, of sugar in the body. And so right. insulin has a chance. Okay, that makes sense. So we, we talked about dairy phase, gluten phase, wine phase. What's and sugar phase. Oh, sugar phase was the last one, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, if we elaborate on that, what would be, um, you know, the, the, the main steps or the main things that the people, actions that people should do or incorporate in their, you know, um, uh, daily routine and lifestyle? Uh, right. Of course, we're we're going to talk about food, but there's so many things that, you know, we need to sleep well. We need to breathe. We need to exercise. Um, we need to, um, um, you know, eat properly wholesome foods and, sure. and be full organic and all that. But is there like, besides all that stress less, uh, besides all that, like, is there anything else that we can do to, to make sure we have a more balanced lifestyle? I think more than every, I think it's difficult to tell somebody, okay, don't stress out. I think giving people- It's almost people, impossible. It's impossible because we are all going to stress, off, stress out. And currently the whole world is stressing out. <laughs> so the energy in the air is like, you know, a million fold than it was. Um, we already had a lot of mental health issues in the world. And now we've now come we have onto that. And so the key is gonna be what you can control is okay, a few things, okay, I can control sleep. Okay, I'm not sleeping well, why am I not sleeping well? So there is a reason why they call it sleeping beauty. Because mm -hmm. when you sleep, that's when everything repairs. Yeah, you it's have less You need good sleep to restore your cells. Absolutely. Exactly, and you get these little Pac-Man things coming up, eating up, scavenging all the dirt and the toxins in the body at night. And you know you also have your cortisol levels grounded. Now cortisol is interesting. It's a hormone produced by the adrenal glands in times of stress. Your cortisol levels are the, the lowest around you know any time after 10 uh, to midnight. So going to bed before 10 p.m. or around 10 p.m. is ideal. Mm -hmm. 
and mm -hmm. sleeping throughout the night, at least seven to eight hours of sleep. Yeah. Um, and now that you know people are not having to commute to work as much, it's great because you can get that extra uh, yeah. lion. You know, you're not like having to rush out the door, take this person to dance class and that person to, you know, you 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 know you can get your your beauty sleep and you can have your a nice breakfast. So those are the things you know that we repair. We repair the DNA when we sleep at night. We also help with cortisol, and we also basically Pac-Man and vacuum up the toxins in the body. So sleep is massive. So if you're not getting enough sleep, um, you know, you're in huge trouble. Six to nine hours of sleep is what the studies have shown. Yeah. Yeah. I like that nice seven to eight hours is optimal. And also by not sleeping enough, you you basically reduce the, the production of your 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 own collagen production yes so rejuvenate yes. your cells and all that so it, it is directly linked to having a beautiful face basically <laughs> and a glowy skin right? right and don't get on your phone before bedtime and i'm guilty of this i'm not going to lie that blue light reduces about 22 percent of your natural melatonin so get your phone out your room i put mine on airplane mode um, except, you know, when I have urgent things that I need to right. tend to, um, you know, and in the morning, open your blinds completely so that your pineal gland realizes it's daytime. Don't stay in your bedroom all day with the blinds shut <laughs> like Dracula. You want to open up those drapes and, you know, look at, you know, the light because it's so, so important um, in that respect. So I think... We, we need to look at that kind of thing. We need to stimulate our own natural melatonin levels. Did you know melatonin right now is the biggest sales for children right now? The for sales have gone up know that. Wow. massive. The sales are through the roof because yeah. <laughs> I have a friend say you used to be Dracula because I used to, I love dark. I like, you know, to okay. keep things dark, but okay. I've, I've started now that I live in Los Angeles. I love opening up the drapes and it's such a, an amazing feeling um, to st tell the pineal gland, hi, you know, yeah. you know, it's daytime and distinguish between daytime and nighttime. I think that's the, the key. And then at night you want to darken the room like Dracula sure because you don't want any light to come in to disturb, including like your TV or like phones or, you know, things like yeah. that. You want to keep those out. I also find that it's so important to learn how to wind down at night. You know, like everybody's, you know, we on, on a, a daily basis, we usually have a stressful life because we have so yeah. much to deal with. And now on top of everything else that's going on, I feel like a, a nighttime routine is mandatory. Again, like mm -hmm. the phones and the computers and all the blue lights that we need yeah. to, you know, um, uh, stay clear from and then um having a bath and then setting right. the tone or having your tea or putting your creams or doing your facials or doing the right you know things for your body because it it will impact your skin directly right 100 percent. And, and and i feel like i want to talk about inflammation um yeah. because again we talked about the relation and and the direct linked with a healthy gut and right and um, having a healthy gut means tr trying to keep inflame, uh, to keep inflammation at bay as much as possible, because as we know, like you know, eighty like all the inflammation in our body starts in in the gut, right? And that 100%. affects your mood. That affects your energy. It's going to affect your sleep. It's going to affect your joint. It's going to affect your digestion, your circulation, everything. But it it will also uh, have a direct impact on your skin. So I'm, I'm a true, true believer that we have to keep inflammation at bay as much as possible. So that's why I always, you know, like to talk about, you know, the more of an alkaline diet and, sure. and you know, doing all these things to keep inflammation um, reduced as much as possible. And of course, stress, you know, creates like triggers inflammation. So that's why we have to, that's why going back to the nighttime routine, you know, about settling in and setting the tone is so important. But tell us more how the, the direct impact of inflammation, when your body is inflamed, 
you know, like I mentioned, it, it triggers, you know, issues with digestion, circulation, joint pain, uh, arthritis, whatever it is. Um, what about our faces? Because we, we keep forgetting. It, and sometimes it's obvious in obvious cases, like with eczema or with any skin type of, of inflammation, it's more obvious. But what about wrinkles? And what about creases? Mm -hmm. And what about dark circles? And what about all these other things? Because people don't, we don't associate it directly to, oh, we need more cream. We need more, you know, I'm going to maybe stop drinking wine or I'm going to buy more cream or I'm going to eat more vegetables. But but we have to understand the link with inflammation. So please tell us more about that because I really, really want people to, to, to make the, the connection. Yeah, I mean, inflammation is like a wildfire in your body. Um, I, I kind of use it, the analogy, it's similar to the Malibu fires here in California. You know, you, we had like it raging out of control, you right. know, and right. you know, the more, the, the weather was bad The you know, in terms it was so hot, you know, it's environmental triggers that are causing our body to inflame. And we look at epigenomics, we have epigenomics now that are able to tell us, you know, if you have risk factors for inflammation um, in certain areas of your life. So you could have elevated what we call IL-6, tumor necrosing factor. These are genetic polymorphisms that get turned on by the environment. So if you drink, if you smoke, if you um, have lots of stress in your life, if you um, don't drink enough water, if yeah. you drink Coca-Cola, if you, you know, all of those things are triggering those, those genetic polymorphisms to switch on like a light bulb. So think of a light bulb that goes on. The minute you eat these foods, the light bulb switches on and then the inflammatory mediators go through the roof and it's a cascade of events. When that inflammation happens, it has a domino effect on the body whereby it creates oxidative stress. The oxidative stress then causes the fine lines and the wrinkles. I want to talk about fine lines and wrinkles for a second and sidetrack because- Oh, we'll, we'll talk about fine lines and wrinkles for more than a second. I, I, oh, for more than a second. No, I just, aware of I just, I we want to talk know about it. About fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> I don't think they're a bad thing, and this is why I want to. I want to talk about this because I, I feel like you. people think like they need to look like you know, yeah. like this, you know, and and yeah. you know. No, I you need character. You need to keep your. You've got to have money and character. Just yeah. keep your. So if you have funny ex facial expressions that you do that are you know, creating these lines that you don't like. I mean, I have one right here that when I smile, it's just there. And that's my line. And yeah. that's me. That's how it, people are going to distinguish. Oh, that's Nigma's smile, right? Or, you know, that's somebody else's smile. But um, that's so, different. Expression lines, the, the, these are you. They're, your, they're, they're but who these you are. But I, what, I, what I mean is more like, you know, like, you know, sagging skin or, mm. you know, as you're that's aging. That's different. That's and, different. But it's That's also it. all caused by inflammation. At, at it is, time. it is. But the, but the fine lines that we get, I think are sexy. Yes. And yes. I think it gives you character, you know? So when you smile, whatever lines you make when you smile should be your lines to keep, okay? It's the extra lines that cause the sagging. And when you start to see this go, that, and if it's premature, your age, if you're young and you're in your 30s and you've got this going on, then you need to think about, okay, am I eating sugar? Am I drinking too much wine? Am I, you know, you know what am I eating? Where are the nutrients in my diet? Where are the polyphenols and the you know, eating carrots, beets? Um, you know, those kinds of things that are rich in color that are going to give you the antioxidants. Um, right. Am I chewing my food enough? Because chewing your food is a it's big problem. It's so important. To produce the I call it and to break down all the nutrients yes because also people forget about that you know we're all, everybody's a fast eater and everybody's yes, rushed yes, yes. but then that's that has a big impact also on so your that causes food. premature aging I call that digest aging oh yes I, I saw that in your book yeah, yeah, yeah digest aging yeah, yeah I read that so when you're not chewing you're digest aging. Just remember that. So chew your food. It's so, so, imp and it's easy to do. It's like when we're eating our food, like the Italians, it takes three, four hours to eat. I love that. 
you know, yeah. like it's just your city. I think you do that in Montreal as well, right? We have, I like the Mediterranean lifestyle, which is mm -hmm. like, you know, having long meals. And, and it's funny because last night we were, of course, eating outside because it was in Celsius, it was like 35 degrees Celsius. Wow. Which is, which is I'm not sure in Fahrenheit, but it's, it's, it was That's hot and hot. humid. Yeah. And I felt, I felt like I was, I was in my backyard in Montreal, but honestly, with all the trees and the flowers and the birds and, I felt like I was in the south of France because it was humid, but I love this weather. Me Lots too. of people don't like the humidity and the, the heat. I personally love it. And, and I yeah. also feel that my skin, it looks yes. better. Yes. It's better than, dry, it's be better than, you know, I have a humidifier in my room because California can get quite um, dry. dry. So it, it's super, you know, having a humidifier is a game changer here. Right, right. And the so, dog likes it as well. <laughs> so, how many dogs do you have? Because I feel I like only have one. I just I just rescued him like a month ago. Right. Okay. He's new to the family. So cute. So cute. Um. <laughs> so so Nigma, uh, we talked about inflammation. We talked yes. about you know the importance of, of you know sleep and and all of that. What about and we know the importance on on eating well, like I said, and wholesome foods and and your vitamins, no sugar, stay away from sugar, from dairy. I, yeah. I like to tell my clients to stay away from gluten as much as possible, even if okay. they're not, you don't have to be celiac. That's what I tell people. It's just, no. I, I like to tell people that, that gluten is like, it's a binder, right? It's like glue, so it's mm -hmm. much harder to digest and it will create inflammation. So, so we know that. Um, what would be, because I believe in chapter two of your book, uh, it's called Eating Beauty, right? Chapter yep. Um, so what would be, would you have like a specific list of, of things um, that you highly recommend? Like you should have this, you know, incorporate this in, in your, your daily yeah, sure. uh, meals or we kind of know what to avoid. Uh, but, you know, what would be like the... And um, you know nutrients that we need absolutely have to incorporate and I think that's so important what you just said is I think we need to focus on what we can eat versus what we can eat because it gets to be really <clears throat> hard on us I can't do that can't do this yeah. I think it's more about making a personal choice to say I'm not going to eat these foods because they're affecting me right. um, so if we look at you know uh, in terms of like some of the most healthy foods for your skin is number one, I'm going to talk about fish. You know, oh, mackerel, definitely. salmon, really, really important. Um, healthy, to, healthy fats. Healthy oils, healthy fats, because a lot of us are deficient. I will measure people's omega-3s, and they are, they are frighteningly low. It's, it's, it's frightening to see people that even, you know, Californians that eat a lot of salads and, you know, they're vegans they're missing out on these essential fats. And as a result- and get, I, I always remind people that, guys, if you do have a super healthy salad yeah. full of veggies for lunch, but you don't incorporate a healthy fat, you will not absorb all the nutrients and your minerals as much. You, because you need the fat, you need the healthy you fat the to fat. absorb, right? Yeah. Um, so, so can you give us specific um, foods? That's yes. Besides yes. salmon and, and let's say besides salmon and, and so what, you're, what you said about berries are super important. Yes. Um, they're rich in polyphenols and antioxidants. So you can add those to your, you know, porridge in the morning, for example. Right. Um, right. You can add them to your smoothie. Um, walnuts are rich in healthy fats. Um, we have, um, you know, when the one thing we talked about was juicing, you can juice some celery and cucumber and make ice cubes out of them because that's what I do is I will juice them and I'll put them in ice cubes okay. and I'll add them to my water for oh, hydration. Nice. So it's a really, really good way of like hydrating because water can actually dehydrate you sometimes because it will eliminate magnesium if you're peeing too much. So that's super important. Um, things, uh, you know, anything that's um, rich, it, like avocados are incredible to add you know, to your diet. So there's all these berries, avocados, fish, 
you know, ch eggs are, are really good. If you're not intolerant, though, because there's a right. lot of people that don't do well with eggs. Rich source of protein. Protein is amazing. Your hair is made up of protein. Your skin is made up of protein. So we have to remember that we need protein in our diet, particularly when you're in your mid-40s, you know, is when late 30s to mid-40s is when your hormones start to decline. You need that protein for building muscle mass. So I'm those happy, I'm happy things. that you, you brought that up because I always um, tell my clients, uh, you know, like you said, the ones that are like 40 and up, yeah, I need to eat protein, you know, because they we all want to every. But I said, you, if you want to be healthy and, and, and have a, um, a good muscle mass, which will also help you have better skin, because again, it's related to, to the skin in your face. If you don't have enough protein, you're going to get like, you know, more um, uh, like hollow and hollow and, looking. Yes, exactly. So the, um, the pro good, good, healthy protein is uh, daily is mandatory. Absolutely. And then the other thing I wanted to add is steaming your vegetables, like your carrots and your, you know, cooking them a bit more to release the lycopenes. Like tomatoes, when you cook them, they release the lycopenes. Um, we know that the polyphenols are, are, are increased by 38% when you steam your vegetables. Okay. So eating them raw is a bit tough. What I about be... grilled? I love to grill my vegetables yeah. with olive oil. I, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. I haven't looked at grilling, but I know the studies that were done um, was steaming is, seems to be the best from 38 to 52% increased polyphenol content in these fruits uh even fruits even like cooking your fruits and and boiling is definitely not the best because you're losing the nutrients right you're losing all your nutrients yeah, yeah. Uh, okay so um that that that's key and then you know adding things like avocado oil you know olive oil all of those things to your veggies you know drizzling those on top are really helpful yeah. Yeah. um I do that. I do that every you day. You do that anyways. Yeah. I do that every day. I think I think I almost have an avocado a day because I love it so much. But you know, it works for me. So and, and it's such a healthy fat and I love salmon. So yeah, it's, it's good to know. So um, we talked about foods. I want to talk a little bit about and, and we know the importance of, you know, having a wholesome diet and and not over supplementing. I, I agree mm -hmm. with you. But yeah. We also know that we do have deficiencies and we do have a crazy lifestyle. And, mm -hmm. and then there's all the, uh, your environment that, that comes into play. And so it's, it's good to supplement. In your book, you talk a lot about, um, and this is all fascinating for me because, uh, you know, in my, in my shop, I sell a lot of products that I, you know, truly believe in which are all good for your skin and that's so that's why i want to get into that with you because i also know that you have your own products which i mm -hmm. have not tried but i want to talk about the beauty in a bottle after. oh yes yes, yes i want to know what's in that bottle and i i, I want to try because okay I'm, I'm, yeah of course uh but so you talk a lot about collagen and we know that you know as of the age of 21 you know your our own collagen production decreases like one yeah. percent every year so I think that's that's a really really good uh, supplement, um, important supplement, uh, especially for your skin and and even for your joints and your bones and everything else. You talk a lot about antioxidants, um, hyaluronic acid, how important it is, uh, retinol. I I have um, serum on my website which is Bakucho, which I which is a natural retinol which I love. I don't know what's your take on it. I find that it's less harsh and it's less you know, you get less redness and, and peeling and, and I really like it. So I'd like to have your opinion and your take on that. And then you also recommend, you know, your vitamin A, your B complex, C, D, I'm guessing vitamin D3. That's what I, I preach on vitamin D3 because it's so, even when you live in California, you need vitamin D, D3 because yeah. if you put sunscreen, your, your, your uh, synthesis is not going to happen if you, if you block the rays. Uh, and then fish oil, we talked about fish oil. So um, that's a lot of vitamins for some, and supplements for someone who's, who's not used to it. Um, 
I, I cover pretty much everything on the list. But so what would be, what would be your priorities? Like where, where so, do you start? If you, you say know, like, as of today, I want to work on my skin. I want better skin. I want to improve my health from within, from my gut. Where do I start? What's the most important thing to do or supplement so, to take? So for most people, um, what I recommend are two things. Okay. And yeah. these, because these are most people, right? When I, I do a lot of stool analysis, uh, right. not personally, but I send it to the lab. <laughs> they, my patients send it to the lab. Everyone has to do a poop test if they come yes. to see me. And the lab always indicates about 60 to 80% of my patients who are, you know, they, they take certain supplements or they don't, um, but they have busy lives, have low good bacteria in their gut. So the bacteria in the gut, putting in probiotics is a very good thing. So I created a probiotic called Healthy Flora. And in the Healthy okay. Flora, I put in grapeseed extract to increase the ability of the probiotic to adhere to the gut lumen. It's one of the most effective probiotics out there. It's been studied for 50 years. So there's a lot of research on it. And so I always recommend they take the Healthy Flora. Um, the second product I get them to take this is for people just with skin. Um, people who have dry skin, aging skin, um, you know, they just feel like their skin is, you know, they don't know what's happened. They just feel like their skin is not looking good. Their nails are, are not growing. Their hair is brittle. I recommend the Beauty in a Bottle. The Beauty so in a Bottle. What's in it? What's, what's in yeah, the okay. Bottle? So the Beauty in a Bottle, why it's so good is that it has vitamin A, C, E, zinc, selenium, yeah. hyaluronic acid, biotin, MSM. I mean, the combination in there is unbelievable. The results I get are unbelievable. And the reason why I created it because I had a, there was a gap in the market and I couldn't find anything. I would always have to mix like three or four supplements to get the one supplement for the patient. So right. then I just created it, not knowing that it would end up being a big seller. And, you know, it's quality supplements, it's quality ingredients, there's no binders, no fillers. Um, and so those are the two I would start with is a beauty in a bottle and the healthy flora. And right now, um, I know we're giving a special discount that's continuing on for Memorial Day. So anyone listening, um, they can go onto my website and type in beauty sun and um, they can get a discount. Anyone listening here today? Fantastic. <laughs> Don't tell anyone else, just you. No, All exactly, you just us, just us. This is because it's still, the discount is still there and I just thought I would offer it. Well, no, I really, I really want to try uh, that one day. I'll and, have to send you, you some. You sell, I mean, you ship from, from LA, but do you sell in Canada anywhere or? Yeah, we, so, so our, so we ship from the United States now, so we can definitely send to Canada. We have lots of Canadian clients. It's so just, maybe you know, I the, should, we should, we should talk after and maybe if I'll, I'll get your beauty in a bottle on my website. For yeah, it, it really is a game changer. Here's the thing is vitamin A is very underestimated. So a lot of people are low in vitamin A. So if you have like itching, dry skin or acne skin, your vitamin A levels are low. It's right. one of the vitamins that is not ever talked about. And it just for us, you know, vitamin D, of course, is always talked about vitamin C. is always, And they're important to be talked about. But vitamin A is super important as well. It's super yeah. important for anti-aging. Retinol is really good for your skin. Well, yes, but if you topically, if you're, if you're, if you have dry, scaly skin it's or hard. acne skin, yeah. that's all vitamin A deficiency. I know, I know. I'm just, oh my God, I just saw the time. And it's, it's and so it's, great. and it's important to do A, C, E together because it's like a symphony. You have to take vitamins together. You shouldn't just take one on its own. It's so important. Um, no, because to take the, the co combination better. makes a huge difference. It's, yeah, absolutely. Um, so do you have any, uh, cause I just saw the time and I, I would keep you all afternoon. <laughs> I would love to, but we did get a lot of questions. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions from, from our followers. Um, one was I'm lactose intolerant, intolerant, but should I completely avoid, um, dairy? I'm guessing the question is not complete or can I have it in small doses? 
Here's the thing. If you're lactose intolerant, chances are you're also dairy or casein intolerant. So I would avoid the whole group. And if you do um, need to go to, you know, have a birthday and there's a bit of dairy in there, try a little bit at a time. I wouldn't. And then if nothing happens, don't try to do it again the next day because you'll really inflame the next day. Um, that's your body basically saying it's not happy with what you're eating. Exactly. Dairy doesn't really have a ton of benefit in terms of health benefits. I agree. So, you know, try to find other nutrients that, you know, other alternatives that don't have sugar in them. Like don't go for the, the high sugar almond milk or oat milk that has a ton of sugar in right. it. Try to find, you know, make it at home if you can. It's cheaper and it's also tastier. Absolutely. I agree with you. Um, so beauty in a bottle, we've talked about the best supplements we've talked about. We've t you mentioned uh, probiotics. What about prebiotics? I like to incorporate so prebiotics. You prebiotics, prebiotics you can eat, you know, like kombucha, right. exactly. you know, and garlic and onions yeah. and all of those onions. things. I, I feel like that, you know, if you have those in your diet, there's no need to take it's a supplement. Enough. And it, the, the prebiotics can actually bloat you. So, you know, prebiotics are what your bacteria in your gut ferment, and they provide the increase of probiotics in your body naturally. So basically, right. prebiotics are fermented droppings of your fiber, uh, yeah. of your bacteria. Your bacteria, yeah. yeah. And, okay. and they, they're, they're, they provide nutrients for your gut lining. I have an interesting one here. Can you reverse in any way gray hair or, or, you know, the production of gray hair. I don't know how to say it, but gray yeah. hair, gray hair is interesting because it's, it's a genetic propensity part of it, you know? So you have to look at your mom, your dad, how they, they grade and different areas of the hair that gray traditional Chinese medicine says that if you have too much gray, that means you have too much excess in your body. And there are some traditional Chinese medicine herbs that you can take. Obviously, you'd have to discuss that. I haven't clinically seen, I mean, I've had people that told, have told me that since they've taken my beauty in a bottle, because it's rich in copper as well, um, that it has reversed their, their graying. So, wow, I, stop it. you're going to go out of stock from that beauty well, we in a already bottle. Well, we, uh, we already were out of stock and we just got some in and we're, it's crazy. But the thing is, it's like, I, I don't know to the extent how true that is because I, I, there's clinical evidence against copper and graying of the hair, but I have people that have told, I have patients that have told me that they've noticed a difference. Um, you know what, Nigma, I, told, I, I, I always say to people, whatever works for you might not necessarily work for somebody else. It's called bio-individuality and you have to try and you have to see what, what works best for your body in everything. I don't, you know, I agree. For, for, I agree. For your energy, for your digestion, for your skin, for everything. So as long as it's, it's good or it's a good product, I mean, the best way to find out is to try. Um, oh, um, uh, DIY mask for anti-aging. I think oh, you yeah. do because in your book. It's I, in I my book. It. Yeah, it's in so, my book. So quickly, what would be like the main ingredients? Yeah, so egg whites um, with avocado and yogurt. So maybe you can't eat the yogurt, but you can put it on your face because the <laughs> lactic acid, the lactic acid from the, I used to do this in university all the time. And I did it just like a couple of weeks ago. I did, me and my assistant, we did an avocado. So we did avocado egg yolk and, um, and uh, yogurt. We mix it together. Okay. And it, the recipe is in my book and you literally leave it on for like 20 minutes. And the avocado like gets rid of all the dead skin cells, the yogurt as well. It sort of hydrates. I literally could not believe because I did it in university and I, I forgot because like now I have access to all these other oh, wonderful yeah. things, right? Um, but it was really amazing to get that mask. I can actually still feel my skin glowing from it. So you can get stuff just from your kitchen, you know, any leftover avocado that's hanging about. Amazing. And uh, just to finish, would you have any, like, as far as creams and beauty products that you swear by or that you keep in your little black book and maybe you don't want to share <laughs> it fast, but I feel... Well, I, 
be fun. I, to hate know. I hate promoting myself, but I only use my skincare line. That's why I created it. Oh, that's right. Because you do have a skincare line. So yes. You have? you have a full uh, beauty regimen, like the whole line? Yeah. So I created this incredible cleanser with salicylic acid, glycolic acid, hyaluronic acid. It is the most incredible. And mangosteen extract, it, it helps with the skin microbiome. So when you use it, it actually, your skin is a different color after. You actually can see, if you just did one hand, the surface of wow. one hand, okay. and you compare it to the other, it's insane. It's an uh, incredible cleanser. So I start with my cleanser. The cleanser is the most important. Then you put the serum on top and then the cream on top of that. So you layer, I only use three products, that's it. Amazing, amazing. So I think I think you and I need to talk, and 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 uh, I'll need to maybe bring in the products on on the website for all. Sure, our and you know I'm all about education. We want to educate people as to what they need for their skin, and that's why I created these products is because yeah. they're good for most people, you yeah. know. And and again, are... the ingredients are so important, but again, you have to try and see what's good for you and what works for you. A hundred percent. Right, Doctor Nema. Thank you so much. Do you have anything else that you would like to share with us to add tips, tricks? I think I've covered like the questions. Um, you know, I've covered pretty much everything. So uh, I just think everybody should try the four week plan and see how they feel, especially if they've never done it before. And just, you know, take this time to take care of yourself because yeah. we're all collectively resetting. We're Absolutely. all going through this together. And, you know, what better time than to go, I'm going to take care of me because yeah. my health right now is so important because it's the, about the terrain more than anything else. Nothing can really get into your body if you don't let it. You know, and you I can feel I like to tell people you need, you need to give yourself four weeks. You know, two weeks. Oh, yeah. And, and you, you might see results after a week. But you might not, and that's normal. You need to give your body the time. And ideally, it's a whole cycle, right, for cell reju rejuvenation and all that. So it's, you need a month. So, you know, it's same thing with the elimination diet. And, and uh, what's your, t just quickly, what's your take on fasting? You know, because I've, been, I've been incorporating that during this it's, all pandemic COVID It's thing. good. It's good. But you have to be careful if you're a woman in your 40s and you've got a thyroid issue just make right. sure that you're not doing it for too long you're yeah. building your way to it yeah. not just all of a sudden fasting for 16 hours because your no. body will go into shock yeah and and, and you have, have to keep supporting your adrenals we didn't talk about adrenals see we could talk all, all afternoon we didn't talk about adrenals how important they are you know to support your huge system. huge for anti-aging next time next time Dr. Nigma, thank you so much. That was thank you for honor having me to have you uh, as part of the Global Glow Talk series. That was fascinating information. Again, guys, like the book "Reversing the Signs of Aging," and it's my beauty bible. I told you, um, I, love I love it. And um, yeah, you should. So, where can people order it on Amazon? On Amazon, yeah. On Amazon, fantastic. So, Great. in the United States, it's younger skin starts in the gut, and then in, in in Canada, it's reverse the signs of aging. Okay, okay. Great. Canada and Europe. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Big kiss. Hope to see you soon again. All right, we'll see you soon for sure. Have a good Thank one. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Guys, I will be saving this for 24 hours. Hopefully, this is going to work. And um, hopefully, I'll be able to save it and put it on, uh, on an IGTV for everybody to watch. So thank you. Thank you so much.